hey there everybody i am doing a bit of work in my trash journal because i just got too much trash <laughs> i've got too much trash it needs to go in my little journal here so i thought i would take just like a you know a five or ten minute a uh, little break in my creative day i have been really hard at work on uh on making some new christmas journals for you guys and then i also have finished uh some more halloween journals which i am really i i am digging the mary shelley theme you guys and i think it's so cool that some of you have uh have explored mary shelley and um her life and all of that so i just think that's super neat i am too here um, I think that some of these pages, this is a really short trash journal, which I really like, but I don't, I have not put anything on these pages. Uh, I haven't put any gesso or covered them in any way. So basically I am just going to, uh, to just do some gluing here. And I think that, yeah, okay. I was just making sure that I have my pages correct. Um, I am using, today I'm just going to use a little bit of homemade Mod Podge to do this because I um, am getting kind of precious with my, <laughs> my, my, um, my, my, real Mod Podge. And, and the reason that I'm doing that is because I'm not, probably going to get out of the house uh, for the next couple days because I am working because I have a festival coming up and that is always like just an incredible amount of work so anyway let's go through this trash and see what we can put on these pages um, I love this it says bring home the charm uh, we got this in the mail landscape and tree service don't you love that i like diy marketing uh, i think it's so much more interesting than you know than something that's slickly designed by a marketing company i would just 10 times rather i would rather do business with a person like this than um you know some slick marketing but i need to put some paper down here so I can start just a bit of a base. We had a neighborhood cleanup last week and it really could not have come at a better time because our, you've heard me talk about this, our garage door broke. And, uh, you know, when, when that happened, we had to go get a new garage door, but we also had to, Chris had to take the old garage door down and um, dispose of it. So we had um, made plans to borrow a truck from one of our neighbors. And wouldn't you know it, I mean, <laughs> so I came home that day and lo and behold, you know, there's a um, flyer in my mailbox that informs me that September 22nd is a clean up day in our neighborhood and that I could put stuff out and they would take it away and I'm like, oh, jeez. You know, I mean, how much better does that get? <laughs> and then it's providential right there. I love this thing. I love that um, apparently these were, you know, the flyers were already made and then somebody wrote on them, put everything out curbside. That's a, that's a, that's just a, uh, I'll just like that, right? You know, that's a very um, metaphysical cleansing kind of statement to make, isn't it? Yeah. You just put everything out curbside that does not serve you and let the universe pick it up for you. So I'm going to put this, I think it's interesting, put this right here. Um, the dry, it says driver does not assist with loading, but he did, which was awesome because I had huge pieces of wood to deal with that morning and no help. So it was really nice that the 
that the driver did help. Um, for the other page, I'm not doing a whole lot with uh, this lyric sheet. So I think that I'm just going to use some of the lyric sheet over here. And I'm going to have to, when, after I get this done, I'm going to have to dry it. I am excited that I read in the comments on my last trash journal that someone is doing, um, was it Angie? Angie, was that you? Um, doing a, uh, a workshop at their library and they're going to teach people how to make a trash journal. <laughs> <laughs> I think that is so awesome and wonderful. So I'm, I was just really excited to read that. Like, yes, keep it out of the landfill. All right, so we've got our little, um, you know, we've got our background done. I guess technically we can call that a background, can't we? I went to the store. Um, I went to the store. Saturday and bought some uh, some really good cookies. Now, I do not eat a lot of sweets, but these were called Anna's Swedish Thins. They were 57 cents. They were on the discount rack. Oh my gosh, they are so good, you guys. They are so incredibly delicious. So, um, I am going to kind of just put these somewhere. And this is the story. Some things you just don't change. A lot has happened since Anna Carlson baked her first Swedish thin in her little backstreet bakery in downtown Stock Stockholm, Sweden, uh, 1929. So, I, I just look at the picture of Anna there. Whoops. Isn't she neat? Um, so I think what I'm going to do is, now that I have a background, I am going to uh, put this little story here. Uh, I love this too because it says find inspiration. And I think what I'll do is, because this is going to come so far off the page, not that I really mind that so much, but I think that I can kind of trim it this way and build a little bit. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this um, Oh, that would work. Like, do it that way. Okay. That will work. And they, I tell you, you guys, they are good. I had a little coffee break around 3 o'clock and made myself a cup of coffee and uh, ate some Anna's Swedish Thins. It was quite enjoyable. We have had, oh my goodness, it's like the, <laughs> you can't tell day from night right this minute because it's been so overcast and cloudy and yucky um, since yesterday. Well, we didn't even have very much sun on Saturday. Um, okay. That looks cool. And then I think I'll put the last one down here. And there we go. My tribute to Anna's. I hope I find some more of those. I hope it wasn't like a, a one-off kind of thing. I'll have to figure out uh, where to get more. Not that I need more, but yeah, they were good. Uh, I think with the, I think with this page here, put everything curbside. I kind of would like to keep this with this page. So I think what I'm going to do is just kind of, hmm, I think I'm going to create just a little tip in right here with a bit of washi tape. Let me see what I can find that was that would be really sticky, sticky washi tape. This is duct tape, washi tape, and I love it um, because it is going to stick. So I'm gonna pull that off. Let's see, 
sorry I'm going to do a little measuring. Might be off camera a little bit. Speaking of cameras, I am going to take my tablet down tomorrow and see if we can get her fixed. Although, I got to say, you know, we're about 10 minutes into this thing and it's still recording. And uh, that's good. <laughs> we'll just have to see how it all turned out. So I'm going to do a little tip in right here. And then that way I have, um, I have this, I did not get that tip in quite the way I wanted it, but you know, um, it needs to come over just a tiny bit more. Let me trim a little bit of this off. Uh oh, it's going to be super sticky. Oh well. Oh, I'm gonna have to do some like major cleaning to poor scissors, my poor little Fiskers. I'm sorry, Mr. Fiskers. Miss Fiskers, rather. Okay, there we go. It's a little bit better. There we go. Now it's now it's right. Or as close as it gets when I do it. Uh, I was trying to think if there's anything else that I would like to add to this page. Uh, this is kind of food related. Um, I kind of just wanted to keep it at, um, you know, house related, home related, that kind of thing. Um, that's about it that I see right here. Um, on this one, I am going to go ahead and put this bag because this bag is. Um, I can actually use it as a pocket and this would be a nice place for it since I'm tipping in right here. This is food related but I don't have, ah, sugar. Hey, that's what I'm going to do right there, a sugar bag. Mm -hmm. Know how much I love a sugar bag. So we'll just put a sugar bag right here. Don't you love those graphics? I just think they're so super cool. I love them. All right, since we had some food over here, we'll have some food over here. And I think that is it, you guys. A very, very quick little, uh, little trash journal. Thanks for playing along, you guys. Remember, you can recycle trash or you can put it in this little trash notebook. And then what I'm going to do with this notebook after it's all done is I'm going to simply harvest it and make something brand new out of it. Thanks for joining me, you guys. Take care, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.